Hi everyone! I am back today to show you some super fun stuff. So we just got in a shipment and one of the things that we ordered was this set. Um, hang on. It actually comes in this very pretty, very pretty um, box. So it comes like this, right? With these guys in here. But I took them out because I had to take the plastic off so I could take photos. Um, and this is eight weight thread from Aurafil, which is made in Italy. It's um, 38 yards or 35 meters. And there's 20 different colors. It's 100% cotton. Um, and it's really pretty. And I wanted to show it to you. So I went ahead, opened a box took all the plastic off so you can see all the colors. Look at this. This is the cool set. And then this is the warm set. So again, look at these colors. They're so rich. They're so pretty. Um, but I did go ahead and I broke these so you don't have to buy the entire collection. Although you can if you want. Um, and I broke it into um, like each color so you could order just one color if you wanted to try it. And you might be asking, why in the world did we go order eight weight cotton thread? Well, I'm so happy to tell you. Um, which color? Which color? Which color? Which color do I want to do? Hmm. Which one? What do you think? Um, I mean, I love purples. I do love purples. Um, but I love this too. This is this like green, blue. It's not coming across very well. Um, it's more green than it's appearing like on my camera. Um, but it's really pretty. This is color um, 2850. I think I'm going to open 2850. So here it is. Here's my 2850. It's my little spool. And um, I can see a little thread tail sticking out. And yes, yes, that is the opener. So, all right, back to this discussion. Um, why would we want this eight weight cotton thread? Um, a few different reasons. One, it actually tats really nice. Um, it is a little bit softer. It's probably hard to see. It's a little bit softer, um, more of a pearl cotton type than say like the Lisbeth, which is definitely a much higher twist. Um, and I think that this is only a two ply, but let me double check. Um, yeah, so it's a two ply, um, two ply cotton. I'll make sure I add that. Um, but again, milled in Italy. It's beautiful stuff. So it's one, it's got great color. Two, it has great sheen. Um, three, it is just that little bit softer. So you do get just a little more drape to it, which is kind of nice. And um, do I have a tatting shuttle down here? Oh, I do. In fact, I have a very special tatting shuttle here um, that Powell sent me to test out, which is one of his spaceship shuttles with a hook. So let's tap, let's tap a little bit. It's very exciting. Can you tell? I'm very excited. Um, let's see. Get this all wound on here and ready to tap. I I'm not going to lie. I did finger tat with this at H and H, um, which, you know, not my ideal, but I didn't have any shuttles with me there. I was working on other things, so, um, I didn't have any shuttles, but let's just, okay. I have like just a tiny, tiny little bit. So we're kind of testing out Powell's, you know, shuttle and the thread. Um, but this stuff is smooth. Um, it's very smooth. And it's not super fuzzy, which is nice. It would be good for um, hand embroidery if you wanted to do that. It's actually meant as like a hand quilting collection, I think. Don't quote me on that. Oh, it's nice though. It's nice. Let's put in some Picos. Um, which, I mean, I expected nothing less. This stuff is milled in Italy. They do know what they're doing there. Um, and of course... Powell shuttles, very nice as well. Let's see. And 
I oh, it's coming along nice. I really like how this is working up. Um, especially since I'm just like random tatting. I'm just throwing in some stitches and some picots. I'll show you in just a second. Um, I'm just trying to get enough stitches on to make this worthwhile. So yes, nice stuff. Uh, the next thing that I want to do is try it out with some um, Mediterranean knotted lace because I'm curious how that would look because, you know, well, I want to know all the things. Um, could you knit it? Yes, you could knit with this. Um, could you crochet it? Yeah, you could crochet this. Um, so here we go. Here's my, my little tester. Um, very nice little stitches. Um, and again, it is only a two ply, so you do have to be a little bit careful because your picots are going to open up just a little bit more. And I do mean that in terms of, I um, don't know if you can see. Come on. Do, 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 do. Maybe. There we go. Uh, you can kind of see that the picots are starting to twist open just a little bit. Um, but there we go. Beautiful, soft, open, lovely little sheen on that. So you could definitely tap with this. Um, Am I going to try some like stitching with it? Probably. Um, but I also want to try out some other things that I got. This is like the, oh look, Kelly got new toys to play with video of um, June because now I'm unwinding. There we go. And do I have scissors? Of course I don't have scissors. Why would I have scissors? Okay, I'm gonna pause the video just for a second and grab scissors. Okay, and speaking of more new things, um, so these are slant tip scissors. Tina actually spotted these. And we brought them in because they are curved. So they have this nice little slant tip so that you can get down into something. Um, let's see. And I just cut my thread, but anyway, you can get down into it and then you can clip at an angle so that, boy, this is really not gonna show up, but so that you can get um, pretty close. To whatever it is that you want to do. Oh, that's not, uh, here we go. Ah, now I can't get it. Helps if you have some tension on it. Let's do a little bit of tension. There we go. Now that was a nice cut. Anyway, um, so it's really nice when you're trying to trim things off at a slant, um, but it is important to remember that it's good to have the uh, tension on your thread when you're trying to trim it off. Because, it, well, I mean, it, there's lots of reasons for that. But it works better. Anyway, so slant tip scissors. These are super cool. So these just came in. Um, in fact, I just ordered a whole bunch of scissors. Like a whole bunch of scissors. Because, you know, that's, I, that's we were low on scissors. And then I went scissor hunting. And suddenly we had lots of scissors. Um, and another thing. So I just brought in a whole bunch of different tulip needles. So this is um, Tulip. Tulip is a company from Japan. They make some really, really, really nice needles. Um, I call them premium needles or, um, yeah, premium. They're premium needles. So, you know, you are going to pay a little bit more. I'm, I'm not going to lie. You pay a little bit more. Um, most of them are in that like 975 range. They come in this, you know, cute little packaging. Um, this one is the bullion knot needles. And I think you get four. So there's four bullion knot needles in here uh, for $9.75. Some of them you get six or eight needles. It just depends on like what it is. Um, so they come in these little tubes with this fabulous little stopper. And then um, there's also a nice little guide here that talks about tulip needles. So these say Hiroshima needle. Um, uh, so it's a registered regional collective trademark for the brand of needles created in, in Hiroshima. Uh, label of is the label is a proof of a high quality needle that is rooted in Hiroshima's history and traditional needle making techniques. So um, anyway, these are definitely definitely quality needles. Um, so they polish the needle lengthwise in, stri in streaks to minimize the contact surface with the cloth. So that's kind of cool. Um, Anyway, so here we are, and this is a bullion knot. Oh, these are nice. This is a bullion knot needle. Let me just get one. I pulled out three. So these are bullion knot needles, and what you may notice is that the eye is about the same width as the shaft of the needle, and that's because when you're making bullion knots, it can be very helpful to um, have that eye at about the same width so that when you go to pull it through, 
uh, they slide nicely. Now let me find, there's my length. Is my length. Okay, let's see how it does. I have no idea if this is going to be good for Mediterranean Knotted Lace. I'm just, I don't know. We're going to try it. We're going to try it here. Um, and in fact, I'm not even going to start it like, <laughs> like a proper Mediterranean Knotted Lace piece, because let's be honest, I'm just, I'm just trying this. I'm playing with it. Uh, so I'm just going to wrap my tail around and, um, we're just, we're just going to go for it. So, uh, let's see what it looks like. So I can already tell you slides nice. So even though it is, um, only a two ply and even though it is eight weight which is a little bit bigger thread um yeah it's nice feels good um i do have a feeling it's going to be a little bit twisty for this i think knotted lace really benefits from a three ply but you know we can do it with two ply so a little too much. I know I'm like watching my hand. Sorry. Can't even see what I'm doing. Uh, but I'll tell you, boy, this needle feels good in my hand. I really, I love, um, the tulip needles. I love them. Um, the bullion knot needles, definitely very, very nice for this. Uh, I'm going to have to try making some bullion knots though and see how they do. So definitely, um, okay thread is not bad. A little bit hairy. We'll have to see as we work with it um, whether that is going to cause a problem, but I bought something else that might help with that. I know, I'm just showing you all the fun stuff now. It's all the fun stuff. This is like Kelly's, I don't know, Kelly's surprise day, Kelly's happy day, Kelly ordered a bunch of stuff and I want to show it off day. Um, so anyway, here's, here's the thread. So you can see I've got just a little bit of fuzziness maybe. See that little dab of fuzziness at the top there. Um, but the needle works very well. So let's see if we can mitigate some of that fuzziness with thread magic. So um, longtime tatters might remember a product that was called Thread Heaven. Of course, longtime crafters. Um, so there was a product that used to be called Thread Heaven, and it was this really awesome stuff because it was a thread conditioner and it was similar to beeswax. And I do like beeswax and I do use it in my embroidery. However, I have to say, um, the thread magic is a little bit better. Um, it's a little bit thinner. There's a little bit lighter coating when you use it. It's, um, it coats a little more evenly. And, uh, anyway, I brought this in. So I did bring it in, in both the squares, um, so which look like this and they actually have a little thread cutter on the bottom. I don't know if you can see that, but that's a thread cutter. So you can pull your thread up through there and cut it. Um, and I liked that this one had the, the little, uh, the lid that can't get, can't ever be lost. Um, so thread magic squares. And then, um, I don't know if you can see on the back of the package, but they also come in a round and I have this one. I've had it for a while, but I couldn't figure out where to, um, source this from and I finally figured out where to get this so now I can get these squares and the rounds and this is a thread conditioner so um, it it's fine for both machine and handwork and all you do is run your thread through it um, so I'm just literally going to lay it on the top and run my thread through it and you can see that I have just barely used maybe there you go um, the top here just a little bit, um, just sort of use my, my thumb to hold it down. I'm going to use my thumb and my finger just to smooth it down a bit. And we're going to see if we can mitigate some of that fuzziness a little bit while we're working. Um, and of course I am using this on the Evolve cause that's what's in my hand right now, but it'll work on all threads. And I can tell you that I have used it on DMC. I've used it on Lizbeth. I've used it on Olympus. Um, I've used it on Petaluda. So, and it doesn't feel greasy. It doesn't really change uh, the overall feel of your thread, um, except it does make it just a little bit smoother to work, which is nice. It, all it does is it sort of coats um, those little fuzzies that are trying to slip away. 
so that they don't create as much of a problem. Um, and I can already see the difference. I don't know if you'll be able to, but I'm going to show you. Um, I can already see the difference here on my thread. So uh, let me separate them a little bit. So this side, this side that's a little bit fuzzier, didn't have the thread uh, magic on it. And this side that's just a little bit smoother, did have the thread magic on it. So you can see there's still some little like flyaway tidbits. Um, hopefully you can see that. There's still, still just a few little flyaway tidbits on this side. But there's far more on this side, which didn't have any of that thread magic coating. Uh, so yeah, that's, um, that's thread magic. That's what it does. And um, the last thing that I want to show you, because yes, I have one more thing. I do. I know. I have so many fun things to show you. Anyway, um, it's this guy. This is Hugo's Amazing Tape. So I actually had someone who told me about this at the Shuttlebirds Workshop years ago now. And I do mean years. Um, I think Ina was probably a baby or maybe one, maybe, uh, when they told me about this. Um, and they asked if I could find it. And I looked and looked and looked and could not find this stuff. And they may not have exactly told me about Hugo's Amazing Tape, but it was something very similar. Can't even get it open. There we go. And this is a non-adhesive tape. So there's no sticky. There's no sticky on this. But what's really cool about it, I have to find the, I have to find the start. So it's clear, but it's stretchy. See how it's stretchy? That's important for later. Okay, let me cut this with not the good scissors. All right. So now I have my thread here and I want to store this. And when I go to store it, um, yeah, I could probably wrap it around here because Aura feels cool, you know, and so they've got like a storage option. But a lot of our thread doesn't have that. So if I just sit this in here, it's going to unspool the, you know, the tail's going to come open, whatever. Um, but what I'm going to do is measure out a little length here of my Hugo's Amazing Tape. I know you can't see it because it's clear. So there it is. Hugo's Amazing Tape. And I did get the one inch wide by 50 foot roll. So there's a lot of tape on this. Um, but there we go. And all I'm going to do is wrap it around, give it a slight stretch and press it. And there we go. Hugo's Amazing Tape stuck together. Well, I didn't give it enough of a press. There we go. Stuck together. My tail is wrapped down. This is not going to pop open now. Hugo's Amazing Tape. See this? Hugo's Amazing Tape. Uh, you want a light tension on this and you want to flatten the overlapping tape to um, each side and smooth it down just like I did. Well, see, I didn't smooth that down as much as I should. But anyway, smooth it down on there so it doesn't pop off. And that's that's all you do. And the other thing is it's reusable. So every time I open this up and I want to put it back on, oh no, well, whatever, um, I can put it back on again. We can take it off and wrap it around. You can see this is like really fun right now. On and off and on and off and on and off. And there we go. It's wrapped back around again. And so now I have my reusable tape that's wrapped around this. So, you know, say I run out of this thread and I go pick another color, whatever. Uh, I can now reuse this piece of Hugo's Amazing Tape. Um, yeah, on the next on the next spool. So reusable from spool to spool and um, over and over again, which is super nice. And I'm really excited to have found it. So thank you to um, all the friends who have told me about these amazing things and asked me to try to find them for the shop because I'm so happy to have in stock um, our lovely Aurafil 8 weight thread, as well as the Hugo's Amazing Tape and our Tulip needles. So I actually ordered um, six different kinds. The Sashika ones haven't come in yet. They're on back order, but they are coming. Uh, but I got chenille needles and I got assorted embroidery needles and I got the Kogin needles and the Sashiko needles and the bullion knot needles and tapestry needles and um, embroidery needles. So I got like lots of stuff in. Um, so, you know, 
needles for everyone. And then the slant tip scissors, which are nice to try to get down. And again, you have to put a little tension on it for best results. Um, so those are great. I'm trying to think what all, oh, and then the thread magic. So thread magic. Anyway, all of this stuff has been on the market for a long time, but now, now you can get it all in one place at a Twisted Pico because it's all here. And, uh, and that's really exciting for me. I know I'm kind of weird, but that's okay. You all are here watching me, so you must embrace my brand of weirdness. And so thank you so much for being here. Uh, if you haven't signed up for the newsletter, make sure that you do that because I do try to send that out about once a month and tell you about fun things going on. I am, spoiler at the end of uh, my video here, I am going to be running some classes, some evening classes. Uh, I'm going to do a beginning Mediterranean knotted lace class. Um, let's see, this month, June 2024. So that's going to be the 16th and 23rd from 6 to 8 p.m. And then I'm going to be running a beginning tatting class in um, July. So look for that. It'll be um, the end of July. So after IOLI convention and after Fiber U, where I'm also doing a beginning tatting class. Um, but if you happen to miss out on the Fiber U class, then you can join in the online version as well. And um, that one will be five hours total. Um, I'm trying to cut it down just a little bit from six. We're going to try to do two, two and a half hour sessions. And I think we'll be okay. Because um, I also limited the participation a little more than I usually do. So anyway, um, let me put away my bullion knot needle while we talk. I do, I really, I don't know. I'm, I'm such a sucker for like packaging. Okay, sorry. Uh, so those are coming up and we will be at places. So we're going, we're, we are going to the IOLI convention. That is our next stop. We'll be there for, um, let's see, the beginning of July in Franklin, Tennessee. And then uh, middle of July, I'll be at Fiber U. And then in August, we'll be at Palmetto. And then um, October, I will be over in Oklahoma for Lace Embrace. And then, let's see, Oklahoma in late October. Oh, and then November is Ozark Fiber Fling. So tons and tons of fun things coming up. Um, and I hope that you'll catch us at one of those events. And if not, make sure that you like and subscribe to all the different places that we are. So Facebook, Instagram, um, TikTok, YouTube, uh, the newsletter. And uh, I do try to put up various content in all of those places. So um, like here, you actually get to watch me trying and playing with all the fun stuff. Um, and recommending it and recommending it because you know for the most part I bring things in to the shop that I would want to use or that Tina wants to use it's stuff that we we try and we vet before we bring it in for you because you know we want to make sure it's good stuff um, and and we approve of it but anyway I am going to go play with all of my new little goodies uh, now that I have broken them all open on video and showed you. So anyway, please take care of yourself mentally, emotionally, physically, and craftually. Don't forget to go shop the website. We have free shipping at $85 plus all the time, um, at least of the filming of this video. So $85 plus free shipping. And the code for that is free sheep smooshed together. It's also listed on the website so you can find it there. So anyway, I hope that you are having a really good start to your summer or for my Southern Hemisphere friends, a start to your winter. And I will see you all next time. Bye.